afternoon guys, thanks for joining me. It's uh, Aaron here from Wendy Outside Bushcraft again. Um, it's, uh, it's been about a month or so, uh, or nearly a month and a half since uh, I was out last uh, when I came up and uh, built, built this. The um, reason I've been out for a while is uh, this hill that I'm on at the moment. Um, some young lads had come up and set up a, set a big fire on the hill and um, you know there was a lot of vegetation that was burnt a lot of trees that were burnt so to come up here and have a fire was a big no-no for the last month or so um, so i'm out today um, back up at my uh, at my spot again i'm going to do a bit more work up here if i can put up see if i can build a bench and somewhere to sit i maybe strung my hammock up as well um, i'm gonna have a bit of a fire not too much it's a very warm day today uh, it's a bit overcast but it is really warm and sticky so uh, you know the only reason i'm having the fire is just to boil up some water and have some food that's all but um, it's nice to be out again and uh, thanks for joining me hope you enjoy this video a lot of us when we were growing up would have had a swiss army knife okay um, a lot of people still carry them i still carry mine i've got uh, probably about two or three of these now uh, different ones this one is the uh, the biggest one I um, can't remember the name of it at the moment but I've also got the uh, the two smaller ones as well the uh, the camper ones I think they are um, now with this one it's got a hell of a lot of tools on okay um, but how useful is it in a survival situation okay today I have, I have brought my act up with me and I've brought my normal bushcrafting knife as well but what I want to do is I want to test this and uh, see how useful it actually is uh, whether I can actually produce firewood um, you know from, from cutting it from a, from a, a dead standing tree um, to splitting it shaving it and maybe try and, get, and try and get a fire going as well all using just this pen knife okay um, I've seen a few a couple of videos on YouTube uh, similar but none of them have really gone into any any depth you know the videos only been you know a minute long or something like that so what I want to do today is really give it a test and uh, see how useful it is okay Okay, so as you can see here, all right, I've got a down tree. Uh, it's been down for a long time. But it has got some dead standing wood on it. Okay, what I'm going to do is use the saw tool on the on the uh, Swiss Army knife and uh, take this uh, dead standing off. Okay, as I say, so what I'm using is just a little saw, okay? Um, let's go so I'm going And what I'm doing is taking it off as close as I can to the trunk of the tree itself.
stuff is <coughs> so here's the bunch that I've just cut off okay um, using the saw from the Swiss Army knife okay what I'm going to do now is break this down again okay and uh, all these bits here will help for kindling for the fire okay again using the saw tool all I'm going to do is cut it down into shorter pieces Say a saw is already short, so it's uh, hard work, but just proving that you can do it. three bits here now okay so what I'm gonna try and do next is to try and split the wood down okay to uh, so that I can use it to make some shavings um, for the fire and again all I'm using is the Swiss Army knife right so the way I'm gonna break this down to split it okay obviously what I don't want to do is batten against a little blade like this because it will it will just break okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna make a wedge okay Again, using the saw, all I'm going to do is cut it on an angle to make a wedge.
bit of hard work, but I have managed to finally make a wedge. Okay, uh, saw on this as a, as you know is only very small, but it has worked. Okay, I'm gonna do make this a little bit longer using a knife now. Okay, so as you can see there, okay, I just made a wedge, alright, so that's my wedge made, so what I need to do now is try and break this, uh, break this down, split it down in half and uh, I can use it then for shavings okay so all I'm going to do again I'm going to need a flat edge all right okay so this is quite flat here all I'm going to do is uh, once again tip my saw okay now all I'm going to do is put a groove in the top edge Like that, okay. Put my wedge in. All I'm going to do
There we go, finally, okay. So, painstaking job, all right. The one you're using just a Swiss Army knife, okay. It's, uh, it does take a, longer, a lot longer to do, but I'm just proving that you can do it, okay. So that was a, quite a tough piece of wood to get through, okay. So, what I wanna do now, Let's get it over to the fire and see if we can get that fully.
Okay guys, so this is uh, the wood that I split down okay earlier on. Alright, a few bits right here. All I'm gonna do now is make some shavings, okay? And again, all I'm using is the Swiss Army knife. But so what I'm going to try and do now is uh, get this fire started up here using just a spark all right, from my fire steel just to go over what I've done so far okay uh, the Swiss army knife okay I've uh, I've taken the wood the branch from the tree using the saw okay um, to split the wood down then I uh, made a wedge okay uh, and then after that um, I put a groove in the top of the wood that I wanted to split okay and used a batten to batten the wedge down to split the wood yes all right it might have taken a while but this is just using a Swiss army knife okay um, what I'm doing now is I've produced um, the same wood okay I've produced some curls on the, uh, on, on the, on the wood there Okay, and now what I'm going to do is try and get this to take a spark, all right, to start my fire. All I'm trying to do is prove that a Swiss Army knife, okay, which many of us have carried around for a long, long time, okay, it is quite handy, okay, um, and it can be used in, you know, if that's all you've got, it could be used to get yourself a fire, uh, get yourself some wood, make a fire, and get, you know, get yourself warm. Okay, so 
I'll see if I can get this to go up. Right. What you also can do, which um, I showed the other week when I was up here, okay? Um, the reason for taking the branch off so close to the trunk, okay, was if, you, if you've watched my last video, alright, because you can get down to the fat wood in the branch, alright? So what I could do as well is, you know, scrape this fat wood, okay, get a bit of... Um, that on and that should help the fire go up. Alright, so I'm gonna get a bit of fat wood off this.
Hi guys, um, right, so something I've, uh, I've been asked to do today, um, a friend of my brother's, um, he's ex-army as well, um, a few years ago I got out of the army, okay, and he wanted to start up his own coffee company, okay, um, what it was is, through all his time in the army, um, going out on operations and exercises, and having uh, ration pack coffee, which a lot, a lot of you will know if you've ever served or tried them. Uh, the old coffee was very bitter, um, left a foul taste in your mouth. And um, the, the guy uh, thought to himself, you know, why is it we have to suffer uh, having horrible coffee just because we're in the army and we're out on exercise? So his idea was to produce a, a nicer coffee that maybe he could sell on um, or sell to veterans and uh, people still serving um, so that at least they'll have something decent to drink while they're out on exercise or uh, on operations okay um, as I say it was the company was um, uh, the company name is called uh, Dead Mammoth Coffee Company okay there's one of the stickers there on the side of my cup all right you can find them on Instagram Facebook and on their website as well, okay, Dead Mammoth Coffee Company .com. Um Yeah, as I say, so he was an ex veteran, I did, I did take some notes, okay, so I'll just read from my notes. Uh, he's a veteran, okay, who wanted, as I say, better coffee for serving soldiers and for, for anyone really, you know, he just wanted to produce a nice coffee. So he got into the business, okay, he took a lot of um, feedback from people. Um, who said that they wanted um, fresh coffee, you know, they're sick of the same old, you know, Nescafés and all the rest, okay, um, they wanted nice fresh coffee um, made how they like it, okay, so he created his company, Dead Mammoth Coffee Company, okay, and um, he's, and his, I said he's produced his own coffee, alright, um, the beans, the, the coffee he uses, okay, um, are imported from Colombia, Colombia and Brazil, okay, so they are very nice um, coffee beans, okay, um, and he decided on uh, that he was going to have three different roasts, um, you can either have a whole, the whole bean, okay, um, or you can have it ground to your preference, okay. You can also have the coffee roasted to how you like it as well, okay? Um, the, the different roasts that he does is a medium dark roast, which is uh, called Midnight Blend, okay? He does a dark roast, Arabic Blend, and he also does the Extra Dark Red Mist Blend, okay? So, on the website, if you go on to there, check it out, okay? And you can, when you order the coffee, you can pick how you want it ground, and how you you know which roast you would like okay the darker the roast the stronger the taste is of the coffee but the lighter uh, the lighter the roast the more caffeine it uh, retains okay so if you like your coffee strong okay like I do all right you need a darker roast if you like the caffeine to keep you awake then go for a, a more a lighter roast all right um, as I say, you can check him out on his website, okay, and you can order on there. Um, the website has a, a roast to order uh, mm. tool on it, okay, where you can select your roast and grind, okay, the preferences. And they come um, in different size bags, all right? They come in 250 gram bags, uh, 500 gram bags, or one kilogram bags. Obviously, depending on how you like your coffee. So you'll go on. You go on to the, um, the roast to order tool, okay, you pick out uh, what roast you want, okay, whether it be dark roast or light roast, um, and then you pick out what sort of grind you want, okay. Um, now the different grinds that they have, um, let me just find it here. Okay, the different grinds that he has is you can buy it 
in the actual beans themselves, okay, or cold brew, extra coarse, French press, coarse, drip pot, medium, espresso, fine, or tur Turkish, extra fine. Okay, as I say, if you go onto the website, all right, check it out, and uh, as I say, you can pick your coffee how you like it, okay, it will be roasted and grinded to your order, all right. Um, so I got sent these uh, a few weeks ago, okay. This is the uh, Dead Mammoth Coffee Company Dark Roast Jaeger Coffee, all right. And the way it comes, okay, let's take this water off the boil. Two seconds. Yeah, as I was saying, okay, it, uh, it comes like this, okay, on the back of the back of the um, sachet itself, okay, it does have instructions on how to use it, okay, so this, I believe, is a fantastic idea, the way he's made it, okay, is like a tea bag, okay, it's fresh coffee to your grind, whatever you want, okay, and it comes into a bag, like this, alright, all you do, you put it in, okay, and as it says on here, alright, add hot water, infuse for three plus minutes, and then brew to your taste, alright, if you're like me, I like I like my uh, coffee strong, and uh, I don't mind it black, so it tastes nicer, okay, you can add milk if you want, and sugar, but when I'm out in the woods like this, I just prefer mine normal. Alright? So, what I'm doing, I'm going to leave it there for a few minutes. And I'll get back here. As I was saying, Dead Mammoth Coffee Company, okay, uh, they sent me these coffees uh, last week and uh, I said I'd do a bit of a video with them, uh, put it into my video. Um, this is by far one of the best coffees I've tasted, okay. Uh, I, I really enjoy my coffee, okay, and uh, this, this is just you know really on the ball um, if you know if you like your coffee and you want to you want a decent one okay well go over to dead mammoth coffee company okay have a look at what they do you can choose as i said you can choose your own roast and your own grind basically you can pick your coffee how you like it okay um, and the taste is really really nice all right I think you know they've done a real good job in uh, in making this coffee, and uh, I highly recommend it to you. Okay. So, a couple of thing, few things I've been through today. Okay, um, I wanted to uh, do a video on using the uh, Swiss Army knife, as I said. Um, as, uh, as I said when I was doing it. But a lot of us had them probably when we were growing up. I've got two or three of them, alright. I always carry probably one on my belt, okay. The uh, the Swiss Champ, the, which is the bigger one. 
Um, and I, I just wanted to find out, you know, how how reliable is it really? You know, if you were in a in a situation where you had to, you know, get warm quickly, all right, and uh, all you had on you was uh, a Swiss Army knife, how 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 good would it be? Um, you know, I've, I've proven today, all right, yes. It's a very slow process with it because it's only small, but you can take uh, branches off. Okay, you can um, with a bit of knowledge. Okay, uh, as in taking the branch off closest to the trunk. You know, you can uh, you can get the fat wood then. Um, as I say, with a little bit of knowledge, making a wedge um, and just putting a little groove in the top of the wood and then battening the wedge through. Yes, okay, it might take a while, but uh, it will split, okay? So you can you can cut the wood with a saw, you can split the wood, okay? You can make shavings, okay? And, you know, it, if you're in that sort of situation, you've got a lighter on you or anything like that, you know, you can easily light a bit of fat wood and get a fire started. Okay, I've done it today using a fire steel and uh, got the fire started with a spark okay so i just wanted to prove that you know although it's not the best tool you could actually use it in that sort of situation all right uh, the other part of the video i did today was uh, on the coffee okay uh, dead mammoth coffee company uh, as i say it's really really nice coffee okay um highly recommend them and if you like me you like you know going outdoors and um, you know some sometimes it does get cold and all you want to do is make a brew and get warmed up all right I really recommend it to anyone out there whether you be a bushcrafter um, ex-military anyone okay the, the, the coffee is really nice okay um, they've done a good job with it um, as I, as I said earlier, all right, it, it, the coffee was made by a veteran, okay, with the, the, the idea behind it was why should military uh, have to put up with bad coffee, okay. I know now, uh, in the new ration packs, yes, okay, they do give you little sachets of like Nescafe, stuff like that, but, you know, this this coffee, the Dead Mammoth coffee, I, I, I believe is a lot nicer than, you know, your Nescafe's and and crows and stuff like that all right um, so as I say go over to the website okay Dead Mammoth Coffee Company okay and uh, as I said earlier you can pick what roast you want and you can choose how you want it ground as well okay which yeah you know, a lot of the coffee companies don't do that you literally you just buy it it's, you get what you're given all right they give you a choice there uh, how you like your coffee okay and as I say it is very nice all right um, I know they're also on Instagram um, and on Facebook as well by the same name, Dead Man with Coffee Company. Okay, so get over, give them a like, okay, and uh, give them a try. As I say, you, you won't be disappointed. Okay, um, that's all I've got time for today, really. Um, I'm going to head back down in just a moment, okay, but um, I will be I will be out again soon. All right, uh, the problems I have, um, as I said at the beginning of the video, where I come here, uh, there was a few young kids uh, a few weeks back, uh, last month, who um, decided to um, set a fire up here on purpose. And it, it wasn't a controlled fire, they've done it on purpose. And there was a massive fire on the hill, uh, you know, uh, uh, killed trees and vegetation and any wildlife and uh, you know it took a took the fire brigade quite a while to put it out um, so I didn't want to come up here uh, and have a fire uh, after that had happened okay I wanted to give it a few weeks um, the, the other reason I, I, I haven't been out so much as I've said previously in, in my other videos um, I have got a back injury okay which um, it, I, I have good days and bad days okay um, 
I, I, one good thing about it, me, well, uh, recently I've seen a specialist now, um, after waiting nearly a year and a half for it, uh, I've seen a specialist and I have got a, uh, an MRI coming up, so hopefully they'll be able to find out what's wrong with my back. Um, as I say, I, I have good days and bad days, some, some days I'm okay, like today, it's hurting, but you know, I can manage. Um, and then some days I can't even get out of bed because I'm in, I'm in agony. Um, the, the other factor for coming out for me as well is obviously uh, where I live in Swansea we get a hell of a lot of rain. Okay, um, today's a nice day, okay. It's a little bit overcast, alright. Uh, there's a little tiny bit of a breeze but other than that it's, it's quite warm and you know, it's not a bad day at all. If all days were like this, I'd be out every day. But um, as I say, um, I will try and get out as much as I can now. Um, I was very surprised coming back up here uh, after sort of a month or so, month and a half since I was out last, that this is still standing. Um, I honestly thought that I'd come up here and it would have been destroyed, but. Uh, as I say, I'm, I'm away from people a little bit here. The uh, the bike track that they use for mountain bikes and that is a bit further over that way. But uh, there's no paths or anything here where I am, so it's a little bit out of the way, and uh, I get a bit more privacy. So, um, as I say, I'd like to come out a lot more now. Um, and as I said in my previous video, I want to try and start doing things that uh, other bushcrafters haven't done. Um, you know, there's a lot of lot of bushcrafters now video uh, doing videos, um, and there's not there's not a lot I can cover that they haven't. Uh, so what I might do is uh, use this channel not just for bushcrafting. Um, I also if you, if you see my Instagram, um, I also make a lot of um, things out of wood. I'm, uh, I'm a carpenter and joiner by trade, and um, I like making a lot of rustic um, furniture and stuff like that for my old house, and I make a few to, to sell as well. Um, so what I might do is start recording that as well, and, um, and use the channel um, for, for doing the bushcraft and for my wood woodcraft as it, as it were um, yeah because I'm, I'm just not getting out enough at the moment to um, to build up a good following because uh, I'm not producing enough videos so as I say I, I'm, I'm always in my shed making things so I think what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll put that into my um, my YouTube videos as well okay um, if there's anything that you would like me to do any challenges anything like that then please leave a comment um, and uh, I'll get back to you with it and you know come out and uh, maybe do what you suggest um, I, I have had a couple of challenges uh, recently from uh, McCarthy survival again out in uh, over in America um, Big shout out to, to McCartney Survival. Um, he's he, he's given me shout outs on his video quite a, quite a lot, and uh, really appreciate it. He's he's got uh, a nice following at the moment. Okay, um, so again, check him out. Okay, McCartney Survival uh, on YouTube. Okay, he's also on um, Facebook and um, Instagram. Check him out. Okay, I know he's got over a thousand. Um, subscribers now get over to his channel check out his videos he's got some really good ones there and um, you know give him a like and subscribe to his channel and um, as I said before if you if you like this video and you've seen my others please give us a like and uh, if you want subscribe for more videos alright guys um, I'll uh, catch you soon alright take care